This is the independent practice for 5.6. We're uh, locating points on a coordinate plane. All right. Let's start with this. Uh, we want to find the numbered pair, or we find the ordered pair for R. So I go over here, find R. I got to go this way first. So it's 2, positive 2, comma. And then I'm going up, and that's a positive 2 also. So R is at 2, 2. All right, let's go to G. G is right here. So I'm going all the way to 2, which is a positive 2. And I'll go up to 5, positive 5, 2, 5. Also wants to know what coordinate it's at. Um, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this one's in coordinate 1, this one's in coordinate 1, quadrant, I mean, quadrant 1, quadrant 1. That's B. B is right here. i got to go this way, all the way to here. So that's a negative 4, and I'm going up a positive 2. So it's negative 4, 2 in quadrant 2. Let's do T. T is right here. This is going to be negative, negative. I go all the way over here to negative 3 and down to negative 2. Negative 3, comma, negative 2, and it's in quadrant 3. Okay. Let's do C. C is right here. So i got to go over a positive 5, comma, and I don't go up or down anything, so it's 0. And because it's not in any coordinate, quadrant, it is none. Okay. Now we have one more. A. A is right here. So we go over to here, which is four, and we gotta go down to negative three. Okay, four, negative three. And this one is in quadrant four. Oops, I said that wrong. I wrote that wrong. Um It is, there you go, that's how you write it, because this is 5, and when 1 is ahead of it, it takes 1 away, so it's 4, okay, you could even just say 4, 3, 2, 1, those are my quadrants, okay, now, let's, uh, we, it gives us the ordered pair, we just have to find which points it, it is at, and what quadrant. So I got quadrant one here, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Negative 2.5 and 1.5. So I go to negative 2.5, here's negative two, here's negative 2.5, and then a positive 1.5. One, 1 1.5. Okay, Z in coordinate two. And it's good to use. Roman numerals so you don't get confused. There we go. Okay, 1 and 1 1.5, both positives. So over 1, up 1 1.5 is F in, no, I'm not going to say it that way. Um, it's F in coordinate 1. Okay. Let's go to 9. 0.5 over, positive 0.5 over, which is right there, and then negative 2.5, which is right here. So that's A in coordinate 3. Quadrant. Quadrant. I always get coordinate and quadrant mixed up, but quadrant. Okay, number 10. 2 and negative 0.5. So we go to 2, positive 2, right here, and negative 0.5, which is right here. So that is R in quadrant 4. Number 11, negative 0 0.50 is N and none, because it's on the line. Number 12, negative 1, 
I got to go over negative 1 right here and down negative 1.5. So it is Q in quadrant 3. Okay. Now, let's do number 13. We have a map. What is located closest to the origin? Now, the origin is right here. The origin is where it's 0 and 0. And the thing that's closest would be the clock. Okay, Lisa is standing at 2, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So she's standing right there. What is located at the reflection of 2, 4 across the x-axis? What are the coordinates of this location? So we want to do a reflection, and here's the x-axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's the reflection of it. It is the wonder wheel, and it is at positive 2, negative 4. What is located at the reflection of 3, 1 across the y-axis? So 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, and 1. So I want to reflect this right here across the y-axis. So I go one, two, three, right here. So it is the big coaster, and it is at negative one, two, three, negative three, up is positive, so uh, positive one. Okay, the pipeline plunge is reflected across the x-axis. What are the coordinates of its new location? Uh, let's see, the pipeline plunge is right here. It would be, um, if we're going to reflect it across the x, here's my x, so I want to reflect it. One, two, one, two. So this is a reflection. So what are my coordinates? Would be negative 1, negative 2. Okay. And that is how you locate things on a coordinate plane. All right. Go ahead and do the extra practice. It is page 401, number 20 through 31.